ninja. What's up guys? First Hollywood Action Tuesday here that has Violet that we're going to celebrate. We will be starting off with Logarth's Violet versus Animals Greninja. Violet only a couple hours old here, not even. But people are already grinding this character in friendly before the tournament. He's finding some really cool stuff. I'm not sure how this character is going to shape up in terms of competitive viability in the long term, but they definitely have some interesting and unique traits, and I'm excited to see this character in action. Right now we're just seeing a lot of spaced aerials coming out on the part from Logarth. Same with Animals as well. Playing a nice neutral here. Animals getting the upper hand at the moment. That forward tilt, I think, is one of Byleth's better close range options. Decently fast, really good range. Not crazy knockback, but a good get off of you option. Speaking of get off of you, the animal is telling Logarth to get off the stage with that up smash. That's going to be the first stock of the night. On the part of Logarth here, we're going to want to see maybe just a little bit more patience and not so much kind of running in against this Greninja because Logarth. Like, Byleth, I mean, cannot really contest with Greninja's frame data. Byleth is just not a particularly fast character in that regard. So I think really playing that spacing game, utilizing the distance that she has, being a Sakurai called it a distance demon, that is going to be the key here to bring this match back. Animals, though, playing such a smart, not even really a rushdown game, but more so just intelligent neutral where he's able to get Logarth in di disadvantageous positions consistently. And it just looks like this entire game has been in animal control. He's just been able to maintain stage control so well. Nice little substitute, not going to really do anything. I love what Logarth went for there with that up E. The spacing was just barely off, but that was such a cool idea. Still not taking the stock off, stock off of Animals, though. He needs to get the stock now, otherwise Animals is going to be up with a two-stock advantage, and that is not what you want. So you're playing as a character who has existed for about 90 minutes. Oh... I wonder if he could have reversed it again. That was a fun idea. The spacing not too good on that, though, and that is going to be the stock being taken there by Animals, sitting at 130%. Violet has a ton of kill power for sure, clearly not lacking there, but the problem is just actually landing those kill moves. As we see, just shielding on the ground as Greninja is so good against Violet because there's honestly not much the character can do. Obviously, Byleth does have a lot of really cool shield break setups. This stuff like down B and smash attacks, things of that nature. But not going to need those to finally get that stock there. 
So we do see Animal still in a comfortable lead here. Just because Logarth got that stock does not at all mean that this is an even game. Far from it. Logarth can definitely make it even, though, and he's messing around. He's doing some crazy stuff there with that down B. Again, that can break shields. Not going to land its mark, though, and getting Logarth's Byleth off the stage here. Getting, being able to get back on, and that Nair, that's probably one of Byleth's best neutral tools and just one of their most spammable moves all around. Just really fast and decent damage and really nice disjoint on there. One of Byleth's fastest normals, to be sure. Chips him away with that water shuriken. Logarth's gonna get back, but his time here is limited. He's gonna have to make some sort of crazy stuff happen, otherwise he's just gonna get knocked off the top with that up air. That game is gonna be going to animals. Very convincing two stock. Now, here's the question for Logarth. Do you commit to the Byleth? You want to show the world, continue to show the world what this character can do in the right hands? Or are you going to go back to your tried and true, your main? You've got that game of Byleth on the screen, and now you're going to give it your all with the character you put so much time into. That being Shulk, of course, for our man Logarth. But no, Logarth is saying that I am started this set with Byleth, and I am most likely going to be ending the set with Byleth. Doing the gender swap though, very interesting tech coming out from Logarth here. Let's see if Logarth's cleverness will be rewarded though in this match. So here we go, these two are playing a pretty tight neutral, but then Logarth forward smashing Animal Shield, which allowed Animals to get a pretty decent punish, and now Animals finding himself in the lead ever so slightly. Doesn't even matter that he's missing a lot of these moves, because he's able to just convert and take the stock just like that. Absolutely beautiful sequence there. Again, it does not matter if he whips a few moves here and there, because Greninja's moves are just fast enough, and Greninja as a character moves fast enough, that you can just smother Violet with all sorts of hitboxes. Now we do see Logarth getting stage control. We'll see how long it lasts. I do think that maybe Logarth shouldn't be taken to the air so much with this character. I don't know. I don't feel like this character really does too great in the air, apart from the giant aerial side B hitbox as well as Mare. But staying grounded and just playing that range game just seems to be a lot more beneficial. Nice tech though, but yeah. <coughs> oh wait, no, I don't think it is. For me at least. James, is it on? So we're seeing now uh, Logarth I trying to get back to the stage. Or... Threatening to take the stock here from Animals. Oh. This is similar to what we saw in the last game, but if Logarth can get the stock right now as opposed to after losing his next stock, that can make the world, a world of a difference. And that up air, I totally forgot about that move, to be honest. That is an incredible aerial coming out from Byleth. I think it's one of the it's like at least top three last, longest lasting up airs. Like, it's like Palutena's up air. Yeah, and that's up there with like the links. Yeah. So you, it's it's really good because you can down tilt the up air at, at lower to mid percents. It's really solid combo cool. Side special is really good, but unfortunately, like, the end lag isn't that great, but you can stall yourself in the air yeah. with side special to try to go for another special to recover. Animal's showing that he's very capable of punishing all sorts of laggy moves throughout the set. We just saw that there with the forward smash. Yeah, good forward air. Forward air, um, anything that involves the lance from what I'm seeing so far, even just in general, the sword, but the lance more or less, it has a tipper. The sword, the sword, and the axe don't have tipper, only the yeah. lance. It's the glowing red part of the hitbox at mm -hmm. the end there. The back air, the forward smash, a few other moves. I think for for anybody who's like trying to use Byleth, like your your first and foremost opportunity is like, oh, space my opponent, but you also have to feel like, okay, I have a few frames of lag versus animals, so you just know, like, okay, I think you said it earlier, right? you just play very much rush down, yep. and then smother Byleth as much as possible before they have the chance to space you out. It's one thing to space your moves on shield, but 
Violet's moves are slow enough to where even, no matter how well you think you space it, it's still very punishable. Yeah, I think the only move that I'm finding, like, solid worthy of spacing is probably, like, back air. Because back air, if spaced properly, even if your opponent tries to parry it or I'll go for an out of shield option, you'll be far enough where you'll be, like, be relatively safe. Oh, that was a good up tilt. Yeah. Animal's gonna hang on, though. Nair is another move where... Oh, nice forward air. Nair is another move where it's fast, it doesn't have the speed problem that Violet's other moves have, but in yeah. return, it has the issue of just not being long range enough to really be able to space on shield very easily. Yeah, that's why I tell, that's what I'm noticing too. Nair is really, it's really solid, it's not that bad, it's just, it's not safe on shield whatsoever. So if you got caught running into your opponent with Nair, you gotta make sure you at least like, at least try to cross over your opponent. I haven't seen anybody cross up with Nair at all, but you have to make sure you're aware of, okay, it's not safe on shield. You can't get dragged down, so you can't get like continuous Nairs, but you have to worry about it's safe on shield. Yeah, and now we see Logarth in the corner here, trying to turn the situation around. A really fun idea there with the neutral B, but animals knowing to dodge it just by standing on the platform below. Oh yeah, you can still, like I said, you can still sell yourself with side special. So neutral special is really solid. I think the only thing that makes Lynx probably a little bit better is that you don't have to worry about charging it all the way. Like Lynx, it has an arc, so you can just sh uh, continuously shoot it. From what I hear though, you can jump out of the charge. Yeah, you can. So you can cancel it. That's the one thing that Violet has over Lynx. But when it comes down to like how long you charge it and having an arc over, which might be pretty useful, you don't have any of that good forward air. Forward air will do it, yep. Too low there from Animals. Logarth, you can see him learning the character throughout this set. It was pretty fun to watch, honestly. Yeah. He was really getting the hang of things game too, but Animals just played really solid. Mm -hmm. 